you are my holy no no matter what we face when troubles comes our way we will praise your name in spite of the situation that we face in Nigeria today I need you to join me to sing to God this morning we will lift up our voice in praise Feet, thy 
tribute to bring. Ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven. Shaka, you get a little 
your voice to worship God this morning. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. God. We give you praise. God. We give you praise. God. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise.
supposed to pray for the nation, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently this morning. Remember David, when his son, the one that he had with Bathsheba, was sick. He was sitting in front of the temple or wherever he was praying. I'm praying to God that that child should arise. And then he noticed that the servants were walking around afraid, thinking, if this man wasn't eating when the son was alive, how can we tell him that he's dead? It doesn't matter what happened last week. Our eyes are on you. Yeah. Our eyes are on you. Yes, Lord. Our eyes are on you. Yes, Jesus. Our eyes are on you. Yes, Lord. Our eyes are on you. Yes, Lord. Our eyes are on you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for the hope that is within us. Thank you, O oh God, because you are faithful. Thank you because you can be relied upon. Thank you that you are such a good God. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for going ahead of us. Thank you for loving us in spite of us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for keeping us even when they said we couldn't stay together. Thank you for the hope that is within us. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. We know. We know. But, oh God, my papa died. Whose report shall we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Mata sakato no pananai. Let it in imbrovo sunum badadaya. Imbraba koto mata satana nayata. Just come, O God. Mandere netia takalodo. Come and show yourself strong on our behalf. Manda kanana sato tunama. Negene nanada soto balasikai. Idara mando panama balate setieta. Bolo braba kietanama. Rodo so mandele nia kanadada. No mas que dere so do palata da da ye na ka 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 da sa pro bo ma de ke na na so do ba sa ya ta na ma de ke bo va da 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 dere me so no bo do ba sa na na no ba sa ke da da ya so ma ka da da ye ta na na da ya so pa da ma da na da 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 ro do so to ma sa da ma da ya ka da sa da bo do fa Mada da sa to do ba sa, yeah. Sa ka da 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 ba so do ba da da. Mada da ya sa to pro ba sa da 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 da. Le ka da da. Ro so ba da 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 ya da. Ro so ba da 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 ya. Ro da da ya. Le ka 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 da da da. Ro pro go so na ba da 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 ya. Le ka da da ya so do ba da. Ba da da ya sa da. Ro ba sa na 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 ya. Ha ya da sa ka da da. Ba da 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 da. Ro pro ba sa na da 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 sa. same yesterday today and forever thank you 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 Father, we want to thank you. Father, we want to thank you. 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 Father, thank you. Father, thank you. 
Father, thank you. Father, thank you. We just worship and fellowship with him. Just worship you this morning. We worship you and fellowship with
that you know me, man. No, you know me, man. No, na rekele, na rotu to. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. Just lift up your hands to him. And just, just wave at him and give him praise. If you check your body, you will see that you've been healed. If you check your body, you will see that things have been lifted up from you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. We could continue, but we have a guest. Amen. And I'm sure he'll hook up to where the Spirit of God. I know there's so many commentaries out there, and I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I want you to remember something. And this is how God speaks to me. He tells Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to let his people go. And then the same God that sent Moses to Pharaoh hardens Pharaoh's heart. I was making fun yesterday. I said, God said, go and borrow 100,000 naira from Pastor Smith. And I went to Pastor Smith. Pastor Smith said, who are you? Why should I give you 100,000 naira? I come back and said, Pastor Smith said, no. God said, go back. Tell him you want 250. So I go back to Pastor Smith. God says, he says, ah, are you mad? I said, I wasn't giving you a hundred thousand. You're coming to us for 250. I said, I come back. I said, God, he didn't give me the 250. He didn't even give me the hundred. God says, go back. Ask for half a million. And so I go back again. Pastor Smith, I now need half a million. Now. I said, are you mad? I just told you I won't give you a hundred thousand. I said, I won't give you 250. You came back with five a million. God says, don't worry. I am the one hardening his heart. Don't worry. Then finally, God says, go and ask him for one million. And then I go to Pastor Smith and say, is one million enough? Do you want more? That's the kind of God we walk with. Don't, don't allow all these things confuse you. Don't, don't allow them to confuse you at all. Just trust him that he's faithful to the end. Amen? Amen. All what we're going through are birth pains. We will see this baby called Nigeria born again in the pattern that the Lord had for her all these years in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to take your offering in a minute but I need to introduce Reverend Emiko. I'm trying to remember when I met him but I do remember I graduated in 1984. So that gives you about the window of when I met him. When I used to sneak into his library. Some of you don't know that I was young one time. Praise the Lord. That's 1984. How many years ago is that? Like, huh? 35. So I'm not a small boy. Oh. Stop all this. So. <laughs> I was reading Kenneth Hagin's books 35 years ago in this man's library. Amen? When we couldn't spell faith. In Nigeria. Amen. They were champions of the course of faith all over this country. It was a privilege then. It's a privilege now to have Reverend Emiko Emochika in our midst this morning. These are pioneers of what we are enjoying today. Amen. People who took the step. Like I said that, I mean, 30 something years ago, I was in his house 
trying to borrow his Kenneth Higgins book. Now I'm giving him Kenneth Higgins books. Praise the Lord. I'm just giving him the digital version because <laughs> he still has the paper one. Praise the Lord. But I'm giving him the digital version now. Um, and so it's, it's really a privilege and an honor to have him here in our midst. Amen. Uh, come on, guys. Is there any special number you can add to? You have a special number. My God, have, you better make sure it's special uh, when you come up. So I'm going to take your offerings and tithe. And I want to appeal to you. At a time like this, there are two things that motivate you. Faith or fear. Do you believe there's going to be a nation after the election? Do you believe there are going to be greater opportunities for you? Do you believe that things are going to get better? It's based on that that you live by faith. Amen? And we are going to have service every Sunday whether there's an election or not. We have bills to pay. We have responsibilities to carry out. And so we are appealing to those of you who have temporarily withdrawn your tithe to please return it. Amen? Praise the Lord. Because we need it. We have to live by faith. Am I making sense? We have to live by faith faith we have you know i run an event center you can imagine what has happened to us right now yesterday no event next week no event you know what i mean and then people who had canceled their events for march 2nd have canceled so you see four weeks but god is still the one that supplies my needs according to his riches in heaven so i have no reason to be afraid but i still must use common sense am i making sense to see what is around me amen and so I want to appeal to those of you here this morning who are afraid. Don't be afraid. And once one way you show God that you have faith is by what you do. Your act. Faith is an act. If you missed first service, can I implore you to get the MP3? It's going to help you very much in this time that we're living in. It's getting the remember word from the Lord. So I'm going to invite the choir. Can you guys come up so that they can take the tithes and offering? And then as soon as that is over, Reverend Emiko will mount the podium and we'll give him as much time as he needs. By remote control, Abi. Okay, we'll see. Your face, okay. fill up the space. My world needs you right now. My world needs you right now. I can't escape being afraid. Fill me with you right now. My world needs you right now. Show me your face. Fill up this space. My world needs you right now. My world needs you right now. I can't escape. Is 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the blessed privilege we have for access to your precious Holy Spirit. We bless you. We praise you, Lord. For your kindness, your mercies, your love towards us. We thank you. Thank you for your plans for us as individuals. The wonderful plans you have for us. And for us as your representatives in this country. Lord, we look to you to, in this service this morning, speak to us to equip us to be representatives, genuine representatives of yours in this nation. I thank you, Father. Give help from above. Give wisdom, the needed wisdom for the delivery of your word. Give us hearts that will comprehend. Let your word make meaning to us. 
give us ability to comprehend. In everything, Lord, your name alone shall be glorified. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Well, it's a great joy to be here to share the word of God with you. God gave us a great time in the first service by his mercy. Uh, we trust God that he will yet do greater things for us in this second service. I want to, by the grace of God, bring a message that uh, I consider will be one of the very important messages you will hear in your life. One of the very important messages you will hear in your life as a believer. You know, one of the big problems we have in Nigeria, one of the biggest problems we have in Nigeria for us as believers, we say, oh, we want Christians, we want Christians to be in positions of authority. But you know that just having believers in positions of authority does not necessarily guarantee that things will be better. Sadly so. I hate to be saying that. I hate to be saying that. But that's the blank truth. For the years, and um, I've been able to give it a title. I titled Building Your Life on a Firm Foundation. Building Your Life. Building Your Life. On uh, Lord of mercy on my soul. Yes, Matthew seven. From verse 24, I believe it is, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Are you there? It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, listen, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. What well, for it was founded upon a rock. Verse 26, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Turn to Luke, Luke chapter 6. Believe I'm correct. Luke chapter 6. And um, Luke tries to narrate the same um, story, but is a bit more graphical in his presentation. Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Luke chapter 6 from verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Verse 47. 
whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them i will show you to whom he is like he's like a man which built a house and dig deep everybody said dig deep dig deep he, he built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock and when the floods arose the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not could not shake it why because it was founded upon a rock but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built an house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great The other could not even be shaken. So based on that, we have reason to assume that it was not the adversities that determined which house stood or not. the importance of the foundation upon which your life is built the foundation upon which your life must be built i'm sure you agree with me you know that when you want to build a bungalow If you want to build a 50-story building, it's not the same foundation you will dig for a 50-story building 
as you would dig if you want to build a 15 story building right the higher above the ground the structure you want to build the deeper beneath the ground you must go to lay your foundation the higher above the ground the structure you want to build the deeper beneath the ground you must go to lay your foundation you know why you know why it is the structure beneath the ground that sustains the structure above the ground it is the structure beneath the ground that sustains the structure above the ground it is the structure beneath the ground which nobody sees which nobody sees that is the structure that sustains the structure above the ground and friends can i tell you something when you are laboring beneath the ground eh? nobody claps for you <laughs> when you are We put all that inside the swamp, raised it to a certain height. Then we began to put blocks. That retaining wall is still standing till today. Floods have come over the years, it's still standing. Because the right components were used building the foundation. It's lasted and lasted and lasted. Some years back, I saw some people trying to build a similar wall near a stream. When I looked at it, the thing was so brown. Instead of using granite, they used gravel. They used gravel and sand. And I said, this thing won't last. One major flood that hit Ibadan, the thing just collapsed. Friends, the things that constitute the foundation upon which you build your life, the things that constitute the foundation upon which you build your life, it means everything about your future. How long you will last. Listen, how long you will last as a believer and how well you will last as a believer. Did you hear what I said? How long and how well. Two things. I'll go in and tell you the thing straight because of time. Hmm? Like I said again, I'm trying to compress four messages, four days into one. But I'll tell you straight away. The, if your life is going to be built on a solid foundation, solid foundation that will last and last and last keep on lasting hmm? there are three indispensable to no matter the inconvenience it will expose you to no matter the inconvenience it will expose you 
to here was Jesus at this point the reality of the cross <laughs> had dawned on him the reality of crucifixion and he cried to his father saying my father if there is any other way if there is any other way by which we can do this same thing can we explore it however not as I will but as you will not as I will but as you will my dear friends my brother my sister I want to say to you Christianity Christianity is not about your convenience do you understand me Christianity is not primarily about your convenience it is not primarily about your convenience no it's not about your convenience primarily it's about living in the will of God do you understand me it is about living in the will of God seeking it seeking it pursuing it and to live in it it's not primarily about your convenience do you understand me let me tell you something about myself as you heard from your pastor I am wall to wall word of faith do you understand me I am wall to wall word of faith okay I am a prosperity preacher I am an unapologetic prosperity preacher unapologetic you understand what I'm saying? I heard your pastor talking about people who are holding back their tights. Hear me, friends. If you want to hold back your tight, hold it back. Don't pay. Don't pay. Don't pay your tights. Don't give offerings. But when the consequences of it come, don't call me. Don't call me to come and pray for you. Are you following me? That the freeze. <laughs> that the freeze. And people in his clique who don't know the Bible, who don't know the Bible, they may tell you anything on radio, <laughs> on social media. If you want to listen to them, but I advise you to read your Bible. Read your Bible. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Daddy Freeze. Read your Bible. I'm a faith preacher. I'm a prosperity preacher. You understand me? That is to say. will determine the way you will dress. Listen to me. It is not every fashion that the world comes up with that Christians can partake of. Do you understand me? It is not every fashion that the world comes up with that Christians can partake of. 
No. There are certain things. When you see it, <laughs> you know I cannot, I cannot wear this type of dress. Because it is going to stir up the opposite sex. It will arouse them sexually. And friends, the people who are behind the fashion industry, especially for the female, they have one primary objective, to make the women's clothes to be sexually provocative. Do you understand me? To make the women's clothes to be sexually provocative. That's their main objective. In case you don't know. <laughs> so, you must bear that at the back of your mind. Consecration. Oh dear Lord. I wish I could spend more time on that. But I'm, I must leave that. Let me go on to the second subject. Faith. Everybody say faith. Faith. Friends, hear me. Listen to me. If your life is going to be what God intended for it to be. Yeah? You must train yourself. You must train yourself. Cultivate a strong culture, lifestyle of faith. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 12, it says, if through faith, it says, be not slothful, but be followers of them who through faith and patience be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God through faith and patience the Bible tells us that it is the element of faith supported by patience that you will convert the wonderful promises of God into